In this and in the following video, we'll learn how to use Amazon Poly for lifelike speech synthesis in Python. Now, uh, you may recall from my previous videos that I've used Ivona, which was um, also an Amazon product, to create apps for speech synthesis. Now, Ivona has been deprecated and integrated with Amazon Poly as of recent. So even though some users and developers who have their who still have their API credentials with Ivona may still be able to work with it, this may not be for long due to the discontinuing of the service. Uh, they kind of already stopped allowing new user registration. And uh, that brings us to Polly. Now let's look at a quick demo of what it can do. So uh, we'll look into the Joanna voice, which is an English American voice. Uh, now remember that I've used Emma in my previous tutorials, which is a British voice. And Emma is uh, luckily is still available in Polly, but I'm not really sure if we're going to use Emma because I kind of like the sound of uh, Joanna. Anyhow, let's listen to this. Hello. Do you speak a foreign language? One language is never enough. Okay. Um, so in these two videos, we're going to build the basic code for speech synthesis with Polly in Python. And we may later use it to build different applications with it, as same as we did with, um, with Ivona. Now, to back it up a little bit and make it clear, if this is the first time you've heard of Polly, Know that it is a system that synthesizes or creates natural sounding or lifelike speech from the text you provide it with. So it basically reads in lifelike voice the text uh, you're giving to it. And Amazon, which is behind this, allows registered users for um, a limited amount or free use of Polly every month for 12 months which is enough time for us to to practice then after the free tier is off so after 12 months um, their current payment uh, says that it's somewhere at four dollars for one million characters which is incredible if you ask me now back to the main thread today i'm going to briefly go through the prerequisites if you will be coding along so uh, first you go to aws.amazon.com and sign up for a, a free account and make sure you apply for the 12 month free tier of AWS services, which will allow you to use a certain quota of different services for free, including Amazon Poly. Now, as a side note, I'll be working under Windows 10 um, with Python 3.4, 3.5 or later versions. So I'm also assuming that you have Python installed on your system and you are not a beginner. Okay, uh, once your account is set up, you'll have to create API credentials so that you can use Poly in uh, Python. And you'll be uh, following the instructions in this official documentation to help you create your credentials. Um, and make sure you allow Amazon Poly read only access and Amazon Poly full access to be used with your credentials. When you get to the point of creating an API key, make sure to store it or download it because that's the only time when your secret key is visible. If you don't have your secret key, you cannot use the API credentials. Now, in case you forget to do this, just delete the key you created and create another one and make sure you save your secret key this time. So after you have your account up and running and you have your API credentials, uh, you'll open up a shell or command prompt and do pip install AWS CLI, which I already have installed. AWS CLI is uh, 
the command line interface for Amazon Web Services. When that's done, you'll open up another command prompt and do AWS configure. And you're gonna basically configure with your access key, with your secret key and the region name. Okay, and now the last thing to do is to pip install Boto3, which allows for Pythonic interaction with Amazon Web Services. Now, you could also set up your API credentials and region name within Boto3, but we'll do it uh, through the AWS uh, command line interface as I've specified over here. Um, now, it's always good to lecture the official documentation and the one for Boto3 can be found at boto3readthedocs.io uh, and the developer guideline for Poly is over here. Now, I provided these links in the description. So, finally, uh, to test that everything went okay, we can simply open up a... Um, Python shell and try to import Boto3 and then we'll create a poly instance so poly is uh, Boto3 client poly okay then we'll do the following poly describe dot voices which requires uh, your API credentials to execute this uh, command. So uh, let's run it. If you get something like this, and if there are no errors, we're kind of good to go to the next step. So in the following video, we'll create a basic code for speech synthesis with Poly and Python which is a bit more complex than it was with uh, Ivona and the wonderful Python wrapper Pivona. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.